honestly, this has got to be one of the more underwhelming free active fats we've gotten. And see, guys, I'm not even going to come here and start complaining that, oh, it's not uh, OP, it's not. No, you can't really expect the free stuff in the game to be OP. It's just, it's just the way it is. You can't expect it to be OP. When you get it to be OP, like Zatanas Puppet, like uh, Crown of Kanda Krola, like DMC, yes, you enjoy it. But you just can't expect... You, we may have forgotten that before before now, we were having things like the Father Box, useless. Uh, the one you get from Advent of Chaos, Chakra, useless. The Spear, useless. Although, it, before we thought it was useful because... And that's the thing. You look at it and you think, oh, this might be useful because, oh, you can pierce shield. That's, I'm talking about the Spear. Oh, you can pierce shield. It's still useless. Because you pierce it, but the but AI can still block. It reduces the damage. So why is that the point? The only thing is that you don't get the damage reflected back to you. What are you doing with that? That's useless. You're better off removing the shield or ignoring the shield than using spear. So uh, we we can't expect all the artifacts to be good. On paper, this looked okay. Maybe it might be interesting because you are supposed to get uh, at level one. You're supposed to get forty five percent damage. Yeah, 45% damage when you interrupt opponent's special. Now, of course, even if it doesn't do much damage, but if it did some damage, you can say, okay. But as it seems, it doesn't work well with all the characters. Are you surprised? Who is the developer of this game? Then don't be surprised. It doesn't work well with all characters because sometimes, like in this match, just observe... There were times I tried to use my special one to interrupt. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So it seems to work for some kind of specials. Like it works for Katuma special three. It doesn't work for special one because I think it's where it is initiated. The, the animation of the special determines whether it will work. Imagine how stupid that is. Now for uh, Black Adam, it doesn't even work at all. Irrespective of the special you try to use. I don't know. Like... I, I, I recorded these matches yesterday. I've not even played any of my peeps today. I don't even feel like playing. We'll talk about that later in the video, but it was just so crazy. That's why I, normally you guys know I don't upload long videos. I don't bring multiple teams. I try to use, explain everything I want to explain within one match. But considering that I'm not even posting every day now, which, like I said, we'll talk about later on. And considering that I needed to show you guys these four matches to illustrate how inconsistent the Artifact is. So you will see in this match, I have the Artifact equipped on Black Adam. And watch, okay, I made a mistake there. Not really a mistake. Uh, there's some, sometimes I notice in the bosses that the bosses have some kind of advantage in this solo raid. I don't know if you guys have experienced it, that uh, these bosses, they can miss. They like, basically cause you to miss when you are doing CI or even your normal attacks. So you see right there, I tried to block him, but look at, I didn't get any buff. And this is not just the only match. Before this match, I tried this on Black Adam. Before this match, the same thing. It doesn't, doesn't work. It doesn't work. Like, you can't, you can't ignore the bosses with Black Adam. Because I think, I, maybe because, is it because of range? I, I thought it, can't, it cannot be range. Or is it artifact that, uh, specials that grab? Because I tried Black Adam special 2, it did not work. Once the AI started, even if, because some of you may say, okay, you should be blocking first before you do it. Well, that doesn't apply to everybody as well. We're going to see it in future videos. You calm down. Calm your teeth. We're going to see it in future videos. It's not just by blocking. Because initially I thought, okay, maybe you need to be blocking when the AI does the special, which they didn't say, but let's just assume and give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you need to be blocking. But I tried it with Black Adam. See, my Black Adam is almost dead. It's almost dead, dead. It's gone, it's dead. <laughs> like, what is going on here? <laughs> eh? See, my black Adam is almost dead. This peep, very simple peep that would have one shot with on that team. Because I want to make video, I want to test. I almost wasted this peep. But luckily for me, I got my sense and I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. At this point, it was pretty clear this artifact doesn't work on black Adam and it doesn't work well on Katuman, because at this point I've tested Katuman, it doesn't work well with a special one, so if you want to interrupt opponent uh, specials, and you have the artifact on Katuman, don't use a special one, I didn't test a special two, because in that match a special two was disabled, but don't use a special one, use a special three instead, for Black Adam don't even bother, use any other artifact you want to use on Black Adam, don't bother using this artifact, if you use it on him 
then forget about interrupting. Just forget about it. I think you can see towards the end, I got one uh, interruption stack. I just noticed it now. So, like, okay, so it's possible with one of his specials, but it's very, very difficult to get, and on all of his other specials, you can't get it. So, I hate when an artifact is like this. Another thing I hate about this artifact is that it requires you to be defensive, and I hate that. It doesn't allow you to be proactive. If you are using Zatanna's puppet, you want to attack. You are going gung-ho on that boss. If you are using the crowd of Kandak, you want to do more specials, because the more specials you do, the more damage you stack. The same thing with Mr. Freeze passive. You have to do more specials to get more stack. But yeah, you have to be holding your block. You have to be defensive and waiting for the boss to attack. So what if... Wait, wait, now. What if you fight a boss that doesn't block? What if, what if you try that now? You're just waiting for the boss. You're looking at the boss, boss is looking at you. Okay, look at this one. Look look at uh, uh, Hardbreaker Ali Queen. See how it works flawlessly. I tested it with uh, Hardbreaker Ali Queen, but when she's blocking and when she's not blocking. Look at I wasn't blocking. I was getting hit. I was about to be dead. I was about to be destroyed. <laughs> but guess what? It worked. So with Hardbreaker Ali Queen, whether she's blocking or she's not blocking, she's going to be able to interrupt. So the artifact is perfect to her. The, the, the damage I'm doing, I don't know. I was supposed to test this in Ray today. I slept off. By the time I woke up, the boss was dead. <laughs> so I could not test this against any boss today. But, okay, yeah, that's one weakness of it. If a boss does a grapple special, you cannot do anything about that, even if you had Breaker the Queen. But other than a grapple, any other special the boss is doing, you had Breaker the Queen, look at. She thought she uses the active fight like a boss. Another thing I haven't noticed in this match was the end that Heartbreaker the Queen is not even the best for this fight. Joker is actually the best because you're going to be killing that uh, that uh, swamp thing, the goon, the goon swamp thing that pops in is weak as fuck. So you can just use your Heartbreaker, your uh, Joker can easily stack a huge amount of buffs. So this match actually don't do what I did here. Use Joker, maybe use just uh, Justice League Flash as a third member. Don't use Heartbreaker the Queen here. Joker, just to see how much damage I was doing. Joker, that has not stacked any buff, just came in and destroyed the boss. So, in this match, use Joker, don't use Hadbreaker the Queen. But, obviously, with this artifact, the best character I've seen so far that uses artifact, both in terms of the damage, although the damage to me is not that much, I've not seen huge damage, I also prefer kind of kind of Kandak. But in terms of the damage and the usage itself, to even use the artifact at all, it's not all characters. So far, only Heartbreaker Ali Queen can actually benefit from this artifact. So I decided to also try uh, Batwoman the Drowned. And honestly, like I said, Crown of Kandak will still be, be, be better. This artifact will not be better than Crown of Kandak. But we're going to be testing it over time, testing it more in raids. But it will not be better than Crown of Kandak. I don't even think it will be better than DMC. Because it requires you to be defensive. You can see I'm just holding my block. I'm just holding my block. Let's see if I'll be able to interrupt this boss. I don't even remember because I played this yesterday. I have not played today. I may not play today because I'm just tired. I've been sleeping since. God knows I'm tired of this game. I'm tired, <laughs> tired of everything. So it was it's very difficult to test here with Batuma the Drowned anyway because the uh, <laughs> my attacks are so too strong. So you have to, have to test it against a boss that has huge health. So I've been busy with my job. My I got a new job this year, so... I've not really had much time to record videos as much as I usually do. So, and of course, the game is not fun for me anymore. So, I'm at the end game, so to speak. So, not really fun. The game is not being developed. So many bugs everywhere. So, I'm not really encouraged to... I've been saying so much so, 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 so. <laughs> That's weird. I'm not really encouraged to play the game. Uh, my job takes most of my time. And even at night when I want to play, I look at it. Ah. Uh, I just play other games like Infinite Magic Raid. For those of you that know that that's the game I'm playing now. So I just play some Infinite Magic Raid, have some fun. I'm enjoying that game now. That game is still new. At least, maybe at least for the next two or three years before it becomes paid to win completely. Let me enjoy it for now. Uh, but for Injustice, honestly, guys, I don't know. It's going to... Uh, I'll still be recording videos, sure, but it may not be as often. Maybe longer videos, but not posting as much. Anyways, guys. I'm tired of talking honestly. After this video, I'm going to sleep. If you enjoy my videos, <laughs> smash the subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next one.